This is a tutorial for using a new time and billing software application developed by Harvest for Longhorn Geomatics. With this software we will enter our time and expenses uh, for each project that we work on. This software will allow us to uh, keep track of all our time and expenses, uh, allow us to create invoicing, and export data to our bookkeeping software QuickBooks. So we'll uh, show some examples of how to use it. By now you will have received uh, an email uh, generated by Harvest when your name has been entered into the system. It shows you a link and from this link you will uh, enter the Harvest software. You'll do one of two things. You'll either enter time, you'll track your time, or you'll track your expenses. In the office your examples of expenses will be uh, our third-party data that we order. So every time we order data, we'll go in and uh, enter this as an expense into the project. And this way we'll be able to start keeping track of everything. Here's an example of entering office-related time. For this example, we'll use Sarah. So we'll... Uh, enter Sarah's name, her password, we'll sign in. And so as I've mentioned a few times before, but I think it uh, is worth uh, emphasizing just so we don't all get confused, um, typically you'll look for active projects um, associated with their respective client, but because uh, we don't have all of our active projects entered into the Harvest software yet, uh, if you don't see the active project that you're looking for, you'll go in, you'll find your name, and you'll enter the hours that you've worked. Let's say Sarah spent uh, four hours drafting a well site. Sarah will uh, then enter the uh, Longhorn job number that she's working on, and just say uh, draft. and give some details. Then an administrator will see, look at this timesheet for Sarah, see all the active jobs that Sarah has entered that she didn't find here, and then the administrator will enter them into the uh, Harvest software uh, for the respective client and enter that time. And within uh, a couple of weeks we should be up to speed on all of our active projects and uh, you'll spend uh, less and less time entering projects into uh, this area. You'll likely uh, see them uh, for the respective client. Um, and again, this is an example of entering time. We've got a, a timesheets tab, and under the timesheets tab we've got time and expenses. So we just saw an example of entering office time uh, for uh, a project. Um, let's choose a, a Bear's Paw project. Uh, once the active projects go in, uh, Sarah will uh, see the active project and she will come in and uh, the billable time will be planned production. Now for entering our time, our office time, we don't distinguish between drafting and checking in this area. Uh, what uh, Sarah will do is choose plan production, choose the number of hours, and then just say draft, uh, you know, draft Bear's Paw well location. Um, another person who's doing some checking, perhaps Eric, uh, when he's signed into uh, his profile, he'll come in, choose that, uh, that same job number. He will also choose plan production, enter the number of hours, let's say he spent two hours checking that same project, and, and for a note, Eric will say, something along those lines of, of plan checked. And that's how we'll, uh, in our system, differentiate between uh, drafting and checking. But again, we are entering time directly uh, into uh, an invoicing type of system. And currently, 
we just bill our clients for plan production which includes drafting and checking. So now we'll do an example. Now we'll show an example of entering some project related office expenses. So again from the timesheets tab you'll enter either time or expenses. Uh, we've just seen an example of entering some time. Now we'll show an example of entering some office related expenses. So again, you'll go in, to, you'll sign into your uh, profile, your account, um, you'll choose your job. If you don't see it as an active job, you will choose your name, you'll uh, give the value for the expenses, let's say we've had some uh, digital imagery, $100 worth, uh, an example of what it is, if, uh, if we have a receipt, uh, we will attach a receipt uh, in, and in every case um, if we've got a, an expense there likely is a receipt and we have to be very diligent uh, about uh, attaching that receipt. Uh, but uh, for Sarah's example here we'll go to Bear's Paw, we'll choose one of the uh, active jobs and here we are now seeing the um, possible expenses. We see all the uh, possible field expenses for CNRL. We see uh, possible uh, f uh, field expenses for other clients. Uh, but we do see some office related expenses. Uh, you can choose plan titles, uh, plan registration fees, um, office third party charges, which uh, is going to be the majority of cases. So you'll have chosen your project you'll uh, choose office third party charges the amount you'll can say uh, Voltus uh, imagery and you will uh, attach uh, and browse and attach a copy of the receipt and that is an example of entering office related expenses so what we'd like to do here, you know, it's currently uh, Sunday, January the 23rd. Uh, today would be a uh, cutoff date for uh, everybody's time. What we'd like to do is spend the next couple of days having everybody enter their time into uh, Harvest. Uh, as I've mentioned before, and I'll mention it again, you'll probably be entering most of your time into, uh, onto your name. Uh, because we haven't yet uh, input all the projects and uh, we don't want to go back and have to input uh, all of our inactive projects so essentially you'll be going in uh, uh, mentioning uh, which uh, active projects you're working on and an administrator will go in and enter that time so it uh, might be a little cumbersome for the first uh, few weeks here until we all get used to it until we all get our active projects uh, into harvest